All right, students, the question number fifth is from Ray Optics. Image of an object by a plano convex lens at a distance 8 meter behind. So say there is a plano convex lens and is at a distance 8 meter. That means the image is at a distance 8 meter. Real and one third the size of the object. So quite obviously, this indicates the object distance has to be 24 meter by using V by U equals to I by O. And the wavelength of light inside the lens is 2 by 3 times the wavelength in free space. That means this data is going to help us to calculate mu. And straightway it indicates mu equals to 3 by 2. We have to find the radius of the curved surface. This one will give us option number C. It could be calculated in this way that 1 by F is 1 by V minus of 1 by U. You calculate the focal length and once you calculate the focal length you can also use this 1 by F equals to mu minus 1 into 1 by r you'll be getting the value of radius as 3 meter. Now let's go to question number 6. It's a good combination of kinematics and linear momentum conservation. Particle of mass m is projected from ground at a speed u0 at an angle alpha with the horizontal at the highest point that means by the time it goes to the highest point it will have a speed u naught cos alpha it makes a completely inelastic collision with next identical particle thrown up with speed u naught so the next particle is thrown up with speed u naught and it makes a completely inelastic collision. The angle that the composite system makes with the horizontal immediately after the collision, this one will give us option number A. And that can be solved that you can find the speed of this particle by the time it reaches the highest point and simple calculation would show that it will have a speed of u naught cos alpha and now this is one velocity this is another velocity using linear momentum conservation you could see that the resultant would be at an angle 45 degree even that's not required symmetry is such that if they become a composite mass they have to move at an angle 45 degree with the horizontal now let's see question number seven and eight